Yeah, mostly the, the you know the significance of you know a little bit of pride that you know we can we can all take in in the season that that our group built right from you know right from uh, really from last summer through training camp and all the way through. So a lot of pride in what our players did and and the amount of work they did and um, you know just just how competitive as a group that they were um, and really you know as a as a staff uh, you know as a staff you know I really. You know, we, we take some pride in the reflection of that. You know, in, in how all in our guys were, and um, you know, it was it was a great group to work with, um, and we we were able to find some belief and find rhythm throughout the year. And I think everybody should be able to enjoy that a little bit. Yeah, it, it is, it is. You know, I it was uh, you know year one was. It was a challenge. I mean, there were a lot of days you came to the rink after losses, and you, know, you had to just, you know, refocus, uh, kind of re-energize ourselves, and go back to work. And um, you know, at, at the end of year one, you know, I think everybody, you know, you take a step back for a couple of weeks, and um, you know, I think it was it was pretty motivating for for all of our players, and for sure, you know, ourselves as a staff. And um, again, you know, I, I can't say enough about our staff with. You know, with uh, with Far Paul McFarland, with uh, with Leachy, with Laos, um, you know Tim and Brady. You know, those you know the two the video guys don't get a lot of uh, you know a lot of the spotlight, uh, but boy, they're sure a big part of it. And then you know Stevie Breer was new with us this year, and you know our, our goaltending really solidified and stabilized and was a big part of our our success throughout the regular season and playoffs. Yeah. Uh, yes, you know, stats, you know, stats, I guess, tell a little bit of the story, but in Maddie's case, just a real small piece of the story. Um, you can't, uh, you know, you can't make up or you can't create presence. And Maddie's got presence. He's got, he's got a ton of it. When he walks into, into a room, it's not his physical stature. It's, it's the way he carries himself, it's his, uh, it's his demeanor, it's his confidence, it's his work ethic, it's that whole package. So, um, you know, it was a year ago, a year and, you know, a couple months ago when he came in and played the 10 games, it was pretty eye-opening for everybody, you know, that he came in um, and, you know, just seamlessly made the transition, you know, to, to, you know, to the NHL. Um, now, you know, to a man, we all said, well, now you got to come back and do it when it matters. Um, and, and Maddie was able to do that. I mean, what a, what a season he had. He's he's an impressive young man. He he just he works and improves and um, you know picks the areas. He's one of these guys that he picks the areas of his game that maybe aren't his strengths, and he wants to attack it. He doesn't run from it. So that's you know that's a real important thing. That's why I think he's going to be a great player for a long time to come. When you see another recent expansion team, the Golden Knights, win the Stanley Cup and put two and two together with your big jump from this past year, upsetting Colorado, the whole thing. Is that something that you can, not to look too far ahead, but can you envision that type of a step for this franchise? Yeah, it's in the just, next few years? yeah, really it's, you know, it, it's, uh, you got to take step by step. You got to show progress. You got to, you got to move forward. We did that this year. So, you know, from right from day one, I've said, we're not comparing ourselves to anybody. Uh, there's enough of that from the outside world. There, there are those comparisons. And it's, hey, it's a good comparison. It's an easy comparison for sure uh, and probably a valid one. But we've got to take our own pathway. Our pathway is different. Um, you know, that, that, uh, their team has, has had uh, great success, obviously ultimate success this year in the playoffs. Um, you know, our focus is on ourselves. We took, you know, we took a nice step this year. Uh, we, we feel good about the things that we did. We feel good about... Uh, how our, how our, you know, what our dressing room felt like and what it is. Now we got to take it to the next step, and that's the challenge. We know we all know what the ultimate goal is, um, and we got to keep working towards that. Yeah, well, Yeah, belief is a big thing, you know, and that's that's a word that uh, you know that I'll use, you know, for our group as a whole. Um, we were a hard-working group to start the year, and we built a lot of belief in as we as we found small success throughout the year. I really believe believe you know a lot of that is similar to to Gruby's year. 
uh, when you look at the belief that, uh, that our guys had in him through the playoffs, uh, that wasn't just a light switch that flipped on. It was something that you could see build throughout the year. Um, you know, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of uh, Grooby and the way that he handled, handled himself coming into year number two. Um, hey, we, we didn't have the success collectively or individually that we wanted in year one. Um, but everybody uh, came back with a real workmanlike mentality, and probably the most, uh, you know, the most spotlight and the position that draws the most spotlight is the goaltending position. So that's Grooby. So he had to face that, handle that, work his way through that, and and he did that. And that's, you know, like that's why I say I'm proud of him and really impressed with the season that he was able to build. And it was it was real evident the belief that our guys have in him uh, as we went into the playoffs. Uh, I believe, yeah. yeah, I believe that is something that can carry over. I've talked about it a lot. I've said it time and again that I'm not one, you know, I'm not a big believer that momentum carries from one game to the next or things like that. But, you know, when, you know, when you come off of a season uh, like Gruby had that, you know, he had to work and build and grow and, and then he found results. Um, that is something that, you know, that's not just him. That's he and his teammates having a belief in one another. So, uh, you know, I, I truly believe that that's something that can carry over. Um, he's got to do the work over the summer. He's got to be, you know, we know he's a great pro and he'll be ready to, to come into camp, ready to compete and, uh, you know, and, and continue to grow. Thanks. Yeah, you know, Tolvi was such became such a big part of our you know of our team. If you look at uh, the the Yanni Gord line uh, with Ollie Yanni and uh, and Tolvi, that line, you know, to a large degree was the driver of our team up front on a very consistent basis with their energy, uh, with the way they checked, with the offense that they produced. And Tolvi, you know, when he came in, he was a little bit of an unknown commodity to our entire staff. We knew, I mean, we knew everything that. You know the outside world knew, uh, but we, you know, we, we took a couple weeks. Tolvi didn't play. He, you know, he, he he was a you know he was a healthy scratch out of the lineup, but with a purpose. He was working, and we were you know we really wanted to have the right time for him and for our team to come into the lineup. And when he came in, it was evident right away that he belonged. Um, he was hungry. Uh, he stayed focused throughout the year. He, you know, the offense that he provided is. I see, you know, it seems to be what everybody focuses on, but he's a really good two-way player. He's got, he's got great sense in a two-way, in, in a two, you know, in a two-way player. Um, he can play a 200-foot game. He can play against other good players. He's willing to do little things uh, defensively, shot blocking, play physically, take care of pucks on the wall. So all of those things became really important for us. We're good. All right.